Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to be teaching and performing a very nice effect um, called the only faced up card. So let's not waste any more time and let's jump straight into it. So for this trick, um, it's an impromptu card trick so that means the spectator can shuffle the deck. Um, I do not have a spectator so I'll just shuffle it. And now what I'm going to do is the spectator can freely select any card they like. It is a truly random choice. Oopsie, why have I got two faced up cards? Let's just put them face down and I'll try that again. So they truly do have a, f um, a free choice. Let's just say they picked the Nine of Diamonds, okay? So they could have selected any card they liked, but they selected the Nine of Diamonds. It's a very nice card. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Nine of Diamonds and I'm going to get you to remember it, but I'll also remember it. And I'll take the nine and I'll place it right around about center, just like that. That looks around about center. I can push it in, give these a couple of cuts, and give them a couple of table cuts. And I can even um, give these a quick riffle shuffle. And if I wanted to, I can even give these a shuffle just like this. I can even give them this, this sort of shuffle. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to give, um, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cut the deck just like that and cut it again and I'll even give it a quick table cut. And with a quick click of my fingers and a turn of the deck I can actually look through the deck and if you look really closely you will actually find that your card, the Nine of Diamonds, was the only faced up card in the center of the deck. And you saw me place it in. It did get placed in face down. And that's the uh, trick, guys. I hope you've enjoyed. Make sure you stick around for the tutorial. Hey guys, welcome back to the tutorial. So for this trick, you will just need a deck of cards. It's impromptu, so um, you don't need any setup, which is pretty good. Um, so before the trick starts, just start shuffling up the pack. You can get the spectator to shuffle up the pack. It doesn't really matter. And this um, really emphasizes... Uh, I think that's a word. <laughs> um, this really emphasises that the deck is shuffled. So, um, yeah, after you've shuffled up the pack... Wow, I'm terrible at overhand shuffles. Um, after you've shuffled up the pack, you can get the spectator to freely select any card. It is truly a free choice. Let's just say they select this card. So let's take a look at this card. So we have the um, Nine of Clubs. That's a very nice card. Now, what, what you want to do now is just say, make sure you remember that card, and you can keep shuffling the pack if you want to, <clears throat> and take the Nine of Clubs. And what you do is you can either break off half of the deck or you can just place it in. I prefer to break it off because it looks a bit cooler, and place it in around about centre. And you say, look, that lo looks around about centre. And as you do that, you push this down, and um, this levers the top deck up. I think I've taught this um, on my channel. I'm not sure. It's been now... Uh, it's been other videos, but I don't think it's got its own tutorial. But you push this up, and as it goes in, um, you catch a thumb break, just like this. So now your thumb's caught. And then what you do is you lift it up and stick your pinky in. And this is all covered, um, and from the front it looks perfectly fine. It doesn't look like there's any breaks. Only make sure you square it up. And now um, you take half the cards off of the break, place them down take off of the brake, press them down and take this packet. And what's that what what that has done is actually controlled this card to the top. Okay, so they selected the nine of clubs and that's actually controlled it to the top. Then you can start by giving these a riffle shuffle. Make sure to finish on your left hand because that's the card uh, that's the hand that has the nine of clubs in it. Okay, so it's automatically controlled it to the top. Um, you can also do this, this also convinces the spectator that the card's been cut, but actually it hasn't, it's kept it. And you can even give them overhand shuffle. And what that does is it, um, actually no, I won't, I won't show you that because the video is getting a bit long. So now what you could want to do is slowly just lift up their top card with your thumb, okay? But from their view, they can't see this. And you just do that so you've got around about a break like that. And you take off half of these cards, this is called a Browry reversal, okay? So you take off half the cards, place them on the top, but you turn them over, okay? 
So you turn them over, push them in, and now what you want to do is take these cards from the break. This is a pretty, pretty hard move to learn, but you will learn it. You take those cards off of the break, place them on top, and what that's done is actually brought their card to the only face down card in the deck, okay? And now what you can do is you can give these a table cut, just like that, and that's actually made their card face down in the deck, okay? So that's pretty much the tutorial, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And um, I hope you've enjoyed, guys. And check out some of my other videos. And thanks for watching, guys. Bye.